<laughs> or counterfeiting. Yeah, counterfeiting. Because someone promised to get their hair cut like three weeks ago. Damn. Yeah. I'm, I'm, nah, I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut. Hey, I just might be able to try to set up a treat for y'all. I'm going to cut my hair. Yes, b Dodd from downtown with Dodd is going to cut his hair. I believe you when I see you. <laughs> well, hey, keep tuning in, y'all. Y'all just like to say that. Oh, yeah. Real quick, if y'all want to catch up with us, go to downtown with our at gmail.com. Also, right now we got five subscribers to our YouTube channel, so y'all keep on watching. Y'all just folks to talk, keep spreading the word for us, man. Just try to just try to do something good for y'all. So give us give us feedback. Let us know what you like, what you don't like. Now in this segment, we're about to talk about Dan Snyder and the hatred of Dan Snyder because you know it's kind of slow right here in Redskins it, land. Yeah, it is. So and you know, right now we can address an old situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I guess where to start at? Is it? Fair for the criticism that Daniel Snyder gets as the owner of the team. I mean, the whole picture. It's fair. Uh, all right. What, the all right, whole picture. What is fair is if you judge him on what he did. But you can't judge this man on what he did and then group it with Jack Kent Cook did and what, I mean, my fault, John, yeah, Jack Kent Cook John and John Kent, Kent Cook did. Yeah. You can't fault him for that. You can't come in here and say, one thing I hate to hear, and I know you hate to hear and hate to read is when a lot of folks say for the past 10 years or no, past no, 11 no. years. Because years, uh, 10 years. Yeah, that, that 10 just years. That wipes away it, the whole, it wipes whole away eight year else. stretch in which we suck. Yeah, it wipes away my... <laughs> it wipes away and my, we were probably worse during that time than we were during this 10 hey, years. Because okay. in that eight year stretch, we, we did not we didn't do the playoffs. We didn't. I'm going to tell you what, after my... I believe my seventh grade. Yeah. At the seventh grade, dog, we were sorry. I went through my middle school year with the Cowboys reigning supreme. I went through my high school years with the Cowboys and other teams reigning yes, supreme. Yes, yes. And then in college, I went through them. Now, granted, Danny was there by the time I got to college. But, I mean, it's just, it's just, he's blamed for the Dana Stubblefield acquisition, which he didn't yeah, do. Yeah, he had none of he's that. Blamed, Big Daddy, yes. He's blamed because his team didn't go out and get off his line in the first round. But let's be real. I don't really remember Charlie Cassidy picking yeah, out many because, offensive linemen in the first round that actually played a game. Because in the Cassidy area, I'm going to read you some of the draft picks he made with all of them doing this era, mm-hmm. first rounders. That's Mahalo. Bobby Wilson. Okay, you know who that going. is? Don't remember. <laughs> keep going. Andre Johnson. That's the one lineman he drafted. Oh, yeah. I remember that dude. And from he Penn never State, even right? stepped on the field. Yeah, from Penn State? He shooter. Sure. Yeah, good looking Penn State. Thanks for everything y'all giving us. Michael Westbrook. Yep, remember him? Tom Cotter. Remember him? Kanar Lane. Remember him? And he finally straight paid it, I guess, with um, with Champ Bailey. Yeah. That's oh, the only one out of that whole list. Yeah. You know, so th- this team has been bad before Danny got here. They were bad before Noah Danny. Noah Turner. All of these. I mean, come on, man. The hilarious, thing about, just ridiculous, the hilarious thing about Noah was this. Before, when, when John King Cook owned the team, everybody said that Noah, Noah should be five. five. John right. King Cook couldn't pull the trigger. We need somebody. We need somebody. We need somebody. Right. No, Dan Snyder comes in. And, and then all of a sudden, and he fires Noah Turner. All of a sudden, everybody's like, hey, Noah was a good coach. Good no, coach. he wasn't. Yeah, he, was he a, became a hey, better coach. He, he was our yeah, In what, San Diego because he had a star-studded quarterback. Uh, uh, our, <laughs> our, that's, our, all, that's the only thing he was missing here. Are we in San Diego? No, we not. No. So then I don't care what that man did in San Diego. <laughs> that's true. And which, which lends to another thing that kills me about teams. People here. If you've played here and you're a bum and you leave, people say, I hope you go somewhere else and succeed. Yeah, that's the worst, huh? I, I really don't understand. And, and, and it really started with Brian Mitchell. Dang, I love you know I love Ray Because fans. for some reason, it's, I'm sorry, Brian Mitchell is not a Hall of Famer. He, yeah. he is not a, I'm sorry, the guy is not a Hall of Famer. Let me say, wait a minute. No one who comes and plays eight plays a game. <laughs> <laughs> no more than probably ten plays if we getting blown out because we need you know they keep, keep kicking the ball off to us. No, he's not a hard. <coughs> he he was good for what he was worth. He played hard, but I mean, if you on the field for right. ten plays, I all expect right, you to play all hard. All right, look. All right, look. Okay, look. Okay, look. This how I just look at me. It. All right, this how I look at it. He may he deserves to go. Or you know, matter of fact, if he went, I would I wouldn't be like, why did he go? You know what I mean? Now Brian Mitchell isn't in there. I'm not leading the charge for like. Like the way Art Monk was, you know what I mean? Yeah. When Brian Mitchell going to Hall of Fame, you're not going to have a sea of red, nothing against Brian Mitchell, but you ain't going to have a sea of red skin no, fans out there. Because he wasn't Arthur. Because he wasn't Arthur. And he, he didn't do everything. And in all he, honesty, he, people remember Brian Mitchell for being a fiery dude, but 
He was a fiery dude against the fourth cornerback. And right, and when it was 38 to nothing, we get slaughtered, yeah. and he come in there yeah. and make a big kickoff, and a dude grab his face yeah. pass, and he won a fight. He down 38 to nothing. Right. Now, of course, he's going to be tenacious. Yeah. Now, at the same time, I like I appreciate Brian Mitchell for his time being here because I do. while he was here, because he was here when I had all those teams but, that lost, but, and that was just undisciplined and did whatever he wanted to do. But his beef with Danny is that Danny, you know, went to go sign Deion Sanders. And let him go to, you know, wherever he wanted to go. In which he chose to go to Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah, because, without rap. Yeah, because he, wanted because to he was bitter with the fact that, you know, we let him go. Right, he I'm sorry. come back and prove us twice a year. You are not Aunt Monk. You are not Daryl Green. I'm, you played 8 to 12 plays a game. You were good. I admire what you did. You were great. You probably one of the greatest kick returners out. But you are not on that level. And when a guy comes in, his first year is the owner of the team, he has every right to cut you. Um, um, that's just how it is. He has every right to cut you. And you have no right to take that person. And you have taken that person. That's ridiculous. But teach his own. I mean, mm-hmm. I know there are a lot of Redskins fans that respect him. Yeah, I do have I respect for him. But at the same time, he's dead wrong in this, you know, his whole beef with Daniel Snyder. Yeah. Dead now, wrong. all right, now, you just brought up something good. When Dan Snyder got here, now, when Dan Snyder got here, People said this team needed, 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 yes. needed. Yes, and he got, and he and got, he and got, got, and he, he got. got what his team needed. Yes. Now you fast forward to now. Now you 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 look there with his first couple of draft picks. He took Levar Arrington. Yes, Levar. Levar. He took Levar Arrington. Levar who Samuels, was, who was his number one guy, and Chris, Chris Samuels. Samuels. He took Rod Don and Patrick Ramsey. Mm-hmm. No draft in 03. Sean Taylor, Carlos Rodgers, and Jason Campbell. No draft pick in the first round in 06. LeBron Landry, and no draft pick the year after that. Then he finally stepped on with a rock pole. Mm-hmm. The same draft he was trying to draft. Yeah, you know, Sa- yeah, yeah, same thing he thought about to get my And he Sanchez. took heat for that with Jason Campbell yeah. because guess what? We're not supposed to upgrade a position when we got the number 19th ranked quarterback in the NFL. Well, the reason for that is because, much like, you know, your nightmare on Elm Street folks, you just want to hold on to something <laughs> old, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everybody looked at everybody looked at it like we can have mediocre here, but we need a great line. And what and th- that takes me back to another point. Yeah. Charlie Cassidy, we had the halls. I didn't have the halls when I was in middle school. Mm-mm. How come and how come no, we didn't, how come we didn't have people out there Shop walking around? Sh- my fault. I'm sorry. Trey Johnson. Hey dude, if you ever see this, you are a dog. You now. were, you were you were a dog, dude. If, you, if anybody could come back, it'd be you. I'm, I swear, that's real. But I didn't see people out there picking sides talking about I'm leaving because we saw a dog. Then we go like, then we go 3 and 13 yes, before Danny did. got here. Yes. Then we go 4 and 12 before Danny got here. We did that too. But you swear to God, this was the first time in that and, and, and didn't win the Redskins teams of those years, the most undisciplined team. Remember, remember, remember the giant game when do you remember Michael, Michael Westbrook, Westbrook threw his helmet? This is the win of the division. We, all we had to do was beat the Giants and mm-hmm. we win the division. Mm-hmm. And we end up tying them in overtime and mm-hmm. stuff. But he rips off his helmet. Catches a 15-yard penalty after he makes a big play. Takes us out of field goal position. Gus Rock hits his head on the wall. Did we see Brian Mitchell, who likes to, you know, go on Clinton Portis about doing this and doing yeah, that? Being leader, being yeah, leader. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Step the yeah. Westbrook and say, right. you know, you were wrong for this. No, he didn't do that. Right. But once again, it's on Danny. No one remembers those bad years, man. Nobody does. And see, and see it's not like Danny's done everything right. He hasn't. He hasn't done everything right. But basically, what we try to just point out is judging. Is it didn't pool. start yeah. in 1999. For if, you, if you've been a Redskins fan for as long as you say you have, I hear a lot of people on the radio. I read a lot of people on message boards where folks say, you know, I've been a Redskins fan this long. This ten years. How come your memory is choppy? Yeah. After that. And and what kills me is the guy who's been a Redskins fan for 50 years and say that Daniel Snyder is the worst thing that ever happened to the team. Yeah. Like George Marshall Preston wasn't the George most racist, whatever, the most <laughs> racist mob. Come on, yeah. yeah. The team name was the Redskins. The guy refused to have a black player on his team till he drafted, uh, um, well, till he got. He tried, he, he, he tra- he tra- he it took that dude about 40 or 50 years to put a black person on his team. Well, hey, y'all. Uh, we're gonna get back to Danny next week because it's gonna be a, this is gonna well, be a nice we, long we, we, segment. We might get touch on Danny again next segment um, because I think we have more time. Yeah, a little bit. Little All bit. right, All right, y'all. We're gonna get back to Danny. We're gonna be right back, y'all. Thanks for coming back to downtown with RB, and I will be cutting my hair soon. <laughs> my hair done.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.